Hey, it's Austin from TurboLab, and here's our upgrade for the 2016 uh, BMW M3 and M4. So, originally the compressor wheel was uh, 40 millimeter by 51. Here's the original compressor wheel. And the original turbine was uh, 38 by 42. For the compressor wheel, we went from 40 millimeter to a 50 millimeter wheel, so a 10, 10 millimeter increase on the inducer, which is by 62 millimeter by 65. And then on the turbine, we went to a, uh, we went from 38 millimeter to a 45, 45 by 59 blade TDO 4HL turbine. Now to do this upgrade, we had to use a TDO4 rebuild kit, which we also have on our eBay store and Amazon. <clears throat> and uh, we also balanced the rotating assembly. And we had to make plates to machine the compressor housing, which we have on CNC. The turbine housing, we had to make a special plate to be able to machine this. Now I'll go ahead and show you what the uh, original turbo looks like in comparison. So here's the original turbo. Like I said, the compressor wheel is 40 millimeter, and there's two of these. And then on the turbine, the turbine is just uh, 38 millimeter by 42. And yeah, this is just what the original turbo looks like. <clears throat> so I'll go ahead and show you the second turbo. The second turbo upgrade is the same as before. It's just the only difference is that the compressor housing is a little different, so I had to make another plate for the compressor housing to, for machining. And then the turbine housing is uh, I had to make a separate plate to machine that one too. Now, as far as the results we had with this turbo, these two turbo upgrades, is uh, we had somebody make 500 horsepower at 20 psi, but there's still more power to be made out of these. I would say 600 horsepower out of the set would be pretty easy to achieve. You could probably get more out of it but I'd rather let results do the talking rather than me just claiming something. So originally this turbo is a TFO35 and being a TFO35 the only difference in the TDO4 is that the inside of the journal bearings is smaller as well as the shaft where the uh, journal bearings ride. <coughs> but the good thing is that the TDO4 journal bearings fit right in along with the TDO4 shaft as a direct fit. So if you need to buy a rebuild kit just for the TFO35, you'll need to get the tighter journal bearings on the shaft, which I do have those, but I don't know how many people are looking to rebuild something like that, but I do have it. Otherwise, we mostly just use the TDO4 series. So here's what the pair looks like side by side. on the back sides. If you're interested in a turbo upgrade like this, you can always contact us at TurboLabAmerica at gmail.